Hey everybody, it's Donna. Welcome. This is North Star Tarot. We're going to do some Zodiac readings. This is for Libra. So uh, all you Libras, this is for your reading for July 17th to the, excuse me, to the 23rd. Um, I just want to apologize. I did not get anything done last week. Uh, there was a lot going on. My new book debuted, which was fantastic, but busy. And um, I had some health issues, and I'm dog sitting at my daughter's. So there's a whole lot going on, right? But I'm getting it done, and um, thank you for your patience with me, okay? So here we are July for July 17th to the 23rd for Libra, okay? So let's go Libra and let's uh let's get some message for you for this week, right? So this is coming into this week, we have the two of pentacles. Then we have work, which is the eight of cups, home, the page of cups, relationships, the hanged man. Unexpected is the Queen of Swords. And the outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So, pretty good cards overall, all right? So, yeah. So, coming into this week with the Two of Pentacles, I really feel that you are, you're doing well, okay? So, you're um, kind of have an idea of what you want, where you want to go, um, what you're looking for. Um, you're hoping to connect with some people, you're hoping that things are working out, you know, that that things are going to go well for you. You've got really good hope for this week, okay? I feel like there is, like, you'll be, you know, connecting with other people, making some good connections there, and just really feeling like you're coming into this week open, you know, open for possibilities, right? And then we have work. So Eight of Cups and work, very, very good. I like this, okay? So I feel like there's opportunity here, all right? So there's projects coming up that I think you will be offered. Um, and I think you will be very, very happy about it, okay? It's picking the teammates and making sure that all you guys work together. That's going to be the crucial part, okay? I think you're doing very, very well. If you are an entrepreneur and you work by yourself, this is indicating that there may be something that you need to hire someone for. Okay, you need to outsource for this, okay? Don't be afraid to do that if you can afford it, right? Um, there are um, things that are a little bit less expensive if you, you know, if you if you hire someone that is learning rather than an expert, depending on what it is, may work for you, you know? Um, so you have to kind of decide what you're looking for, right? But if that's where you are, don't be afraid to go ahead and ask for help, okay? And ask around. There may be people who know people who will be willing to help you or show you how to do it, and then you can do it yourself, right? So I've learned so much since I started my YouTube channel, and I had to research and ask and talk and beg and, you know, everything to get help right and we're doing not bad right uh considering anyway um so yeah so definitely um you know around work make sure you're on top of these projects that you know what you want bid for the one you want if it's if it's if you are an entrepreneur you may need to be asking for help okay so um that's a good thing too it shows that your business is doing well um, so around home, things are very, very lovely, okay? I see somebody around you. This person is very loving and caring and gentle and kind. Um, maybe a little bit immature in the feeling department, but they have feelings, you know? <laughs> so there is a benefit there, right? If you're not with anybody right now, this person could be entering your life anytime, okay? So, yeah, so look forward to that, all right? I just feel they're so sweet and so willing to just be there and be be part of, okay? So very, very nice, okay? 
And if you are with somebody and it's not going well, this might be a good week just to show a little bit of extra love, you know, just a little bit of extra love, okay? And sometimes we need to ask for what we need from someone else. Don't be afraid to do that either, all right? So as far as relationships go, and this could be any kind, friends, family, whatever, there is a delay, okay? So I just feel like nothing's changing here, okay? We're going to see what this is about or what types of relationships this is about when we um, clarify. But yeah, this is definitely, um, there is something just stagnant with relationships, okay? And we'll look at that after. Then what you're not expecting, we have the Queen of Swords. So um, I do believe that you are going to find your voice. So I feel you're going to find your voice. You're going to see what you need to see. And you're going to start speaking up for yourself, okay? If you are the type that does that already, you know, I think you're going to find a way that you do it that doesn't um, put people's guards up, okay? So there's a good way and, you know, an aggressive way. So you want to be assertive. You don't want to be aggressive, okay? And that's, you know, that's a fine line, but it's a definite um, uh, distinguishing line between getting what you want and not getting what you want, okay? So know that you have that strength in you and that strength is right there willing to be uh, enacted upon, okay, this week. The outcome card is the Eight of Pentacles. So to me, this is all about growth, right? So it's all about growth and moving to a place of transformation. Things are getting complete and almost at an end and something new. So I think it would be a really good week to start thinking about new goals that you are looking at or that you're you're hoping to start, um, you know, stuff like that, right? Like maybe you're you're hoping to start a new project or look for a new job or, you know, um, get, get in better health shape or whatever it may be, right? Excuse me. Look forward to that, okay? Okay, Libra, now we're going to clarify we're starting with work, okay? So with work, we have the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. So yeah, there will be competition here for these positions. So definite competition. Hold your ground, okay? So, and if it's, if it's, um, if you're the entrepreneur and you've got to hire somebody, make sure you're searching everybody out, okay? Don't just believe what they say. Make sure you check references, all right? So again, pick what you love. If you are going after something in your job, pick with your, you know, I mean, it can be overwhelming, but make sure that you, um, you have, um, an, an idea how you want to do it, write things down, have a order, okay? And you will be fine, all right? Then around home, when I told you you had that lovely person around you or coming around you, again, okay? I just feel like there's sometimes misunderstandings, right? And you want to make a decision what is right for you. Not what's right for somebody else, but what is right for you. So do the next right thing for yourself and everything else is going to be okay, right? You can allow somebody in or even if they're so nice, but you don't want them around, you don't resonate with them for whatever reason, you don't have to have them around you, okay? You decide, all right? Um, we've also got the Wheel of Fortune here and I know that you're going to make some really good decisions for you this week you know, around your home and stuff that, you know, that is going to give you some peace that's going to give you that good feeling, right? Those good feels. So, yeah, so it's very, very good, okay? Then we go to relationships. So we have the Hermit Reversed and the Nine of Cups. So I do believe that this is kind of, we've got the Hanged Man there, because you need to do some introspective work, okay? So you need to go inside yourself and figure out what you're missing. Why do you not love yourself, okay? Are you working on loving yourself? 
have you done a lot of work and feel like you're there? There's something I feel is there's just a little bit missing there, maybe just for some of you, okay? So some of you Libras need to really go inside yourself, really figure out what's missing here. How do I get to that point where I can actually really believe that I love myself, that I accept myself as I am, and that I am okay just the way I am, right? That's your starting point. And then from there, you can jump off to so much more, right? Make your plans, right? So then you can start doing things to better your life, right? But that's the starting point, okay? And then the uh, unexpected things, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, and with the Queen of Swords there. So um, I do believe that this is going to give you that push that you need, that kind of, you, you found your voice, now you're going to take some action, okay? So I feel like you, you, you definitely found your voice this week. Then you're going to implement a plan and you're going to make a plan of action, okay? Set the goal and then set four things, four smaller goals to get to your bigger goal, okay? This goal in particular that I'm seeing right here has four steps, okay? So it would be really, really good. I think it can be completed by the end of this year and it's going to give you a really big boost, okay? Very, very good. And then the outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So to me, there's stress involved here. There's anxiety involved here with the outcome, okay? So you do stress and you do have anxiety and that's okay. You know, a lot of people do. It's how you deal with it, right? So this is telling you to be very, very practical when you're dealing with it, all right? So being very pragmatic is important. So write down your fears, your um, apprehensions, your stressors, all that kind of thing. And then ask yourself, is it real? Is it not? Is there anything I can do about it? Is there nothing I can do about it? Where do I put my thoughts? Where do I put my actions? So then you figure out what you need to let go of and what you can alter and then what you just need to deal with. Sometimes we have to deal and sit in the shit, you know, before we can get anywhere, right? So sometimes it just hurts or sometimes it just sucks, you know, and you just have to deal with it till you get through it, right? But you will get through it. And then coming out of the week, so out of the week, we've got the Queen of Cups. So you came into the week feeling pretty strong, feeling pretty good, um, you know, making some choices, you know, wanting to connect with people, all that kind of stuff. And you leave the week feeling very, very happy, okay? Feeling, feeling very proud of what you've done, your accomplishments, feeling good about yourself, all that kind of stuff, okay? It feels very, very good. You've had a very good week. I feel like this week, you know, I mean, not without challenges. I mean, that's not life, right? But um, feels very, very good. Feels like you've made some really good progress. And yeah, you've had a pretty good week, right? So let's just pull an oracle. So I'm going to take one of these. These are... Um, more for this week when you are kind of by yourself, you're contemplating what you're going to do and you're kind of getting like, oh my God, is anything ever going to work? You know, because <clears throat> when you're trying to make decisions and you're trying to let things go and you're trying to, you know, be your best kind of thing, right? It can be overwhelming. So let's just have a look and see. This is uh, Into the Lonely Woods Oracle, okay? And this says, drink from your own well water, your own garden. So drink from your own well water, your own garden. So that card is number six. Let's see here. Number six. 
Drink from your own well, water your own garden. When we are alone, we learn how to not take our inspiration or substance or substance from others. We do not drink from their wells. We do not feed from their cauldrons. We do not need anyone else's energy to generate our own. We can create our own energy, find the source of the spring within us, and begin to drink from that and discover who we are when we are most ourselves. Within you is the spring, drink from it. Within you is the garden, water it. Find the source within you. Do not seek inspiration elsewhere. This is not the time for that connection. Now is the time to follow the path until you discover the grail of this self and become your own light, right? So yeah, so a lot of, a lot of work this week on, you know, making decisions and deciding what to do, right? And that just kind of solidifies it. Okay, well, you guys have a lovely week, and we will talk to you again very, very soon. Love you guys. Bright blessings.